Hey, it's Austin again. Uh, I wanted to show you this PTE 6169s over that I had to do a rebuild on. This is not the original compressor wheel. This is a, a billet 35R compressor wheel. Originally, this turbo does come with a 35R compressor wheel, but we went ahead and changed that out for the 5 blade billet 35R wheel. And for the turbine, what you can expect if you're going to rebuild one of these, you might as well just go ahead and machine it out for the 6262 uh, 62 turbine shaft, aka T350 turbine. This is a shaft that we do sell. The reason why I say you may as well just go ahead and machine this out is because the turbine that comes in these is a 59 millimeter by 74 and usually if they put a steel thrust bearing in here and you had issues with the in and out play then the shaft probably is bent and needs to be replaced not always but a lot of times it does most of the time it does so it had to be machined out about three millimeter to make this work if if you're uh, you have experience with machining all you had to do was actually bore out the inducer the exducer was a little bit, a little bit more space, probably about a quarter millimeter bigger. So I, I just was able to leave that. So that was nothing to really worry about. So to give you an idea, you know, if you're looking to do a rebuild on this, watch my PTE 6176 rebuild video, and I'll go show you how to go through the whole rebuild with one of these. And the only thing you need to know is you might need to replace the shaft. If you do, the exhaust housing might as well be machined because the turbines are basically impossible to get. If you do need this service done or need parts, you can always contact us at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.